Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota Highlander Limited. Now the most notable features on this Limited is its panoramic roof. You also have your heated and cooled front seats and your blind spot monitoring. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota Highlander Limited. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Limited is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then if we take a closer look just over on the side, you have your 20 inch aluminum alloy wheels. You also have your integrated signal lamps as well as your foldable mirrors and then taking a look on the inside of the mirror, you're going to see your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with that indicator it will actually light up just learning that there is another vehicle right beside you. Smart key system with it, so with the smart key system you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. Push on one so it'll lock all the doors automatically and then if you put your hand between the handle it'll unlock the front door for you as well. This is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is opulent amber. Now taking a closer look just at the front dash as well as the front seats, you have your leather interior with your power driver's seat with lumbar support. Automatic high beams with your power lift gate release, heated steering wheel, seat memory controls, mirror controls, window locks, power locks, and window controls. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your scroll function, Bluetooth connectivity, volume control, voice recognition, lane departure alert, cruise control mode select, and seek function. It does offer the push button start, so all you have to do is push button on the brake, hit the push button, and we'll start up for you automatically. And taking a look at the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different features on here which include your fuel economy. You do have a distanced empty. And then scrolling through some more, you do have your compass, audio, all-wheel drive with your tire pressure monitoring and safety system status. Settings menu with the lane departure alert, pre-collision system, blind spot monitoring on and off. Parking sensors, or I should say rear parking sensors, rear cross traffic alert, and a couple of other additional features as well. You'll finish with your messages menu and you do have a digital compass with an exterior temperature gauge and digital clock. Now taking a closer look at the center dash area, as you can see, you do have your menu screen which offers you your destination audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. Now if we take a closer look just inside the apps menu, it's part of the Antune app suite, so as long as you have it on your phone, you can use such apps as the Scout GPS app as well as the Slacker app, which allows you to stream your music from your phone onto the touch panel display. You can also check on local fuel prices or on the latest sports scores, just depending on what your preferences are. Now, you do have your premium JBL sound system with the Sirius XM satellite radio, dual zone climate control settings with your rear temperature controls located down below. Hazard lights, you have a shelf where you can place some smaller items on your center dash and driver's or passenger side, sorry. Underneath you'll find your USB and power outlets and it's matted to an automatic transmission. Sport mode, mud, sand, rock and dirt feature. Traction control on and off, snow mode, downhill assist control and auto stop and start. You'll find your wireless charging pad located in your center console. And then if you take a closer look at the top here, you have the auto dimming rear view mirror with the integrated garage for opening controls, open and close and tilt up and down feature with the panoramic roof and you have the SOS connect with your sunglass case holder. Taking a look at the backup camera as you can see you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you back into a stall. Finally we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on your rear bumper you're going to find your parking sensors located right across. On the back of the tailgate you'll find the backup camera just underneath on the left hand side and the rear hatch release located underneath the Toyota emblem. Closing in on the rear cargo space as you can see you do have the cargo cover in the back which is nice because you can cover up your valuables just by going from place to place. And you have a 60-40 split for the third row so in the event that you need additional passengers it's available to you. But if you need more additional cargo space you can fold down that second row seating for yourself as well. Now if we take a closer look underneath the floor. You're going to find your jack and tool kit as well as some of the floor storage space and this is also where you'll access your spare tire which is located underneath your rear bumper. 
Now, the other nice thing is that you do have the power adjustable tailgate, so if you hold down the button for approximately two seconds, the height you'd like it at, it'll beep a couple of times, and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this height. However, if you want, you can reset the height for yourself by holding down on the button for more than four seconds. It'll beep several times, and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this height. Well, I should say the maximum height. The nice thing is that you do have the kick assist feature, so if you want you can actually close the tailgate just by kicking underneath the rear bumper and then it will close for you automatically now this works in conjunction with your smart key system so we want to make sure you have your key fob on you at all times in or uh, sorry in order to fully utilize this uh, option thank you so much folks for watching this video today if you have any questions please visit us we're located at 31 Automall road in sherwood park alberta canada Phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.